The report of the Women and Gender Equality Commission for the period 2021 to 2022 has 13 gender-related issues listed. The Commission's chairperson, Indrani Chanderpal, handed over the report at the Parliament Building's Brick Dam, where she said it is imperative that the recommendations are prioritized. For this period, we have identified 13 issues which we believe are very important for the National Assembly to be able to look at it and to guide policy makers. Because um, we believe all these things must work in harmony. We believe it is imperative that we present this report with the recommendations, but it should not be left to accumulate dust anywhere. So you look at all the recommendations and then you give guidance to the, the, the requisite commission and to say to them that, look, we have looked at your 13 recommendations and we believe that 10 of them or 6 of them is doable. Among the recommendations mentioned is the need for access to data on women's health, health and family life education in schools, access to local content opportunities for rural communities, and more career opportunities for women in science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM. Chandrapal said the Commission worked to uphold its constitutional mandate by overcoming challenges such as the COVID-19 pandemic to compile and submit its national report. Chandrapal said it is the Commission's hope that a special committee is formed to oversee whether recommendations can evolve into policy measures. Responding to the chairperson, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Manzur Nadir, agreed that this report is significant for better responding to societal needs and committed to having it tabled in Parliament as soon as possible. So this is not a mechanical motion we are going through. This is significant work in terms of building, strengthening, recognizing, appreciating, and more particularly understanding the fabric of our society. And this will be tabled as soon as Parliament is reconvened. Chandra Paul said the Commission will very soon continue its outreaches in Region 1 and 9 as part of its remaining activities for 2023. Reporting for the Newsroom, Lazina Yearwood.